you stand not with mankind, but for yourself. Hey everybody and welcome back to another episode of Skyward Sword. Uh, to, uh, my thing's a little glitched out, I can't actually see what's happening on screen. So, um, every sound effect just happens without context. You know, I didn't play this game, so I, I, I didn't play this game, I didn't edit it, I'm just here to record audio, so I have no idea what's going on. Um, so you guys are gonna have to tell me what happens in the comments, and then when I see the comments, I'll be able to find out what's happening on screen. Because right now I can't see a, a gosh darn thing. Bard? Who's Bard? Bard Simpson? Am I playing the, the Simpsons video game <laughs> instead of Skyward Sword? Well, um... I, I, I got some things to talk about this episode. This isn't going to be just another episode where I ramble about the same things I've talked about every other episode. Today, I've got a few stories to tell, I've got things to recommend, and I've got, um, some life advice, I think. Uh, so let's start with a story. I went to visit one of my friends, you may know him, I did some streams, and I made a video with him called, uh, Harder Than Harder, Hard Than Harder. It, I, it was Doom, I visited Doom. Um, and I got there, no, before I got there, while I was heading there, for some reason, I bought, uh, no, I don't think it matters what I bought. The point is, I was on the train, and I was getting off at the train station to, um, catch a bus to his place, and as, as I was getting to the doors of the train to get off, there was a guy who, like, was kind of, you know, I didn't suspect anything of him. I went up and stood behind him, and, like, he turned and looked at me. He looked away, he, like, glanced back, did a double take, and then, like, moved out of my way by a meter or so. And I, I guess it's fair, I am kind of like a, an, in, an intimidating kind of guy to some people, I suppose. But, um, yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm not thinking anything too strange of it. And the doors open, everyone steps out. Who's going to step out? Everyone who gets off the train station gets, gets off. <laughs> um, is something happening? It, just audio stopped and I can't see anything on the screen, so I don't know if my recording stopped. But, um... Okay, I'll, make, I'll do a sync. Ding! I made that sound when the sound stopped. Um, the audio keeps cutting out, am I? <laughs> is my video pausing? Okay, focus. I get off the train, and I turn. I, I, I don't think I turn to the guy, I'm still looking ahead. But I see out of the corner of my eye, the guy, like, he gets off and he looks at me. And then, <laughs> when we start walking in the same direction to the, the way out, you know, the stairs that take you out of the train station, we start walking the same way, and he sees that I'm walking that way, and he just runs in the opposite direction. I don't know if he stole something from me that I have yet to find out is stolen. I don't know if he was, like, on drugs or something and thought I was an undercover cop. <laughs> <laughs> Or if he was just paranoid about something. I don't know what it was. Um, but yeah, he ran away. And then I left and caught a train, as usual. Uh, I caught a bus, rather. Um, yeah, that was, a, that was a weird thing that happened to me. I just got an angel cube, goddess cube, or whatever they're called. I, I haven't played this game, you see. Uh, the only context clues I get are from uh, doing the commentary. 
because somebody else edits them, somebody else plays the game. I just come in blindfolded, I sit down, I take off the blindfold and I record the audio. That's all I do. That's if any time you see me streaming, I'm not streaming the game. The footage is pre-recorded and I'm just talking over it. <laughs> I hope nobody thinks that's serious. I do everything myself. Everything. I made this game, I programmed it, I composed the audio, recorded all the, uh, the voice clips and stuff, modeled everything, textured everything, it was all me. Um, <laughs> um, what's that? There's a sound overload on the, uh, on the, my audio right now. <laughs> Moving on to things I'm recommending. I recently purchased a drink because I see it a lot in the store and I never tried it so it's like I, I'm willing to try something new. If generally when I want to experience something I often go for a drink. A lot of people you know try the food of a culture or whatever, I usually go for the drinks because drinks are drinks are usually a safer bet because you don't need to worry about it having a weird texture or it being alive or something like that. But um, I bought this drink and I wanted to see if it was good, and I drank some and it was good, so I'm going to recommend it. Um, it seems to already be recommending itself though, because on the label it says that it is legendary. Um, I, I don't know if that's like <laughs> a, a part of the name, like if it was just legendary from the get-go, or if that's like the brand that made it. <laughs> Something, it says legendary. It's a, it's a nicely shaped bottle, I, and it's called, I'll probably pronounce it wrong, but the label says Legendary Uludag Gezos. Gezos. Z, 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 Z. <laughs> what am I doing? It's Legendary Uludag. U L U D A G. And that is a registered trademark. So don't sue me because I'm recommending your product. Instead, pay me because I'm recommending your product. <laughs> Um, and then G-A-Z-O-Z, -Z. Legendary Uludag Gezoz. This bottle is, um, from 1930, it's aged well, it's not alcoholic, it's a soda. And it's 1930 is when this was bottled. It's a carbonated soft drink, so it's not, don't go into this expecting alcohol it's not alcoholic um, you can get a 10 cent refund uh, in the state or territory of purchase so I can get a refund for purchasing this product whoops <laughs> I just turned myself down a lot <laughs> that wasn't part of the audio editing I just did that I, I guess it could be a good bit. Um, like, I'm talking too much and then I just turn myself down. That's a dumb bit, though. But, um... Yeah. It's 1.5 liters, this bottle that I'm currently holding. You can get it in a six-pack of a small glass bottle, which is, um... Like, 250 mils? Something like that. Um... But, yeah. That's my recommendation for this episode. It tastes like, it tastes kind of like a more uh, tonic version of the blue Ramenet bottle. Jap uh, Ramenet is a Japanese soft drink. Uh, the original flavor is like the Japanese lemonade. It tastes kind of like that, except it's um, more carbonated or something. It, 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 there's no marble involved. So they have to carbonate it the old-fashioned way. 
<laughs> anyway, uh, so I think I said I had a story to tell, I had a recommendation, and I think I had some life advice. I don't remember if I said I had life advice, but... I think I did say life advice, but I didn't think at the time that I had life advice. But I do have life advice. My life advice is... Um, if you don't enjoy something, but do it for other people, you don't have to do it, you can just deny it. Not deny it, but you don't have to put yourself into that situation if you really don't like doing it. You can just find ulterior things. So if it's like a job, you can try to find somewhere else and uh, do that. If you like doing volunteering work, just tell the people that you don't want to do volunteering work anymore. They'll probably understand. Um, if you just, I don't know about like going to school. I don't know. I don't know if you can get out of that, except for like going to a different school. I don't know how well you'd be able to get away with doing that. But that's my life advice. You don't have to do things just because other people want you to do them. But sometimes it might be a good idea. Maybe. Anyway, now that I'm done rambling about something I don't really know what I'm talking about, that doesn't really apply in all cases, now it's time for the improv criteria of this. Because I don't think I said I had anything other to do. So let's just improvise and just talk out of my my mind, my brain, my mind. <laughs> I, I'm starting to sound like a crazy person. Um, I don't know if anything that just came to my mind is still relevant or if anyone still cares about it. As thinking about the Sapello eager raptor controversy, but I think that's mostly died down. Um, for anyone who doesn't know what it was about, it was about Sapello made a story time parody animation thing. Aaron took it too seriously, and then other people took his response. It started fine, then it was escalated by Aaron. And then it stayed escalated. People didn't like try to minimize the thing. People just made a big deal of it. I think it was probably not as big of a deal as it needed to be in the long run. Um, I think this episode's coming to a close now, so if there's anything else I can think about talking about that's maybe a little more in date. Um, <sighs> yeah, I can't think of anything, but, uh, I have noticed that in my streams, I tend to, um, recently I, I, I sound a lot more tired and bored and stuff like that. I don't want to be like that though. So I tried to be, no, not tried to be, I just feel more energetic now that I've come to that realization. So hopefully this episode was more uh, entertaining and if it was bad, just tell me and I'll quit YouTube or something. <laughs>